with Summer Palooza 2 completely over with, we have August, and if you remember last year when I did the Hand My Tail Marathon for the majority of the first half of summer, while the second half is Summer Palooza 2, well, it's gonna be a gimmick that I'm gonna be doing throughout each summer we pass. So this year, it was Summer Palooza 2 for, for the month of July, which is this month, and the following month will be a dedicated month to a specific media. So it could be something I'm gonna be doing for the for the next following summers, for the next years or something. So anyway, this month, well actually next month of August is gonna be a Crush Your Girls month. And if you did saw my video about the preview, you'll probably been looking forward to this. Especially with the amount of shorts and choose your own endings that I haven't reviewed, which was from the first season. With so many videos, I'm am gonna be uploading one video per day for the next four weeks or something, along with taking a day off because unlike some of Palooza 2, the amount of videos on this isn't close to 30 or something. As far, but it is close, but it just isn't the exact amount that I have for some of Palooza 2. So anyway, let's just get this over with. I'm just gonna point this out right now that I'm gonna be uploading the first fanfic reading, which is gonna be tomorrow. And then I'm gonna be uploading the shorts, which is a fine line to Pinkie Pie Sn Snack Psychic. And then the, the next day or two, I'm gonna be uploading another fanfic. And then I'm gonna be uploading the Choose Your Own Ending shorts. And then the final videos I'm going to be uploading to culminate this month is the analysis video about Equestria Girls Only Breakthrough and the top 4 Equestria Girls music videos in Season 1. I'm just going to say right now that I really don't have a lot to say. I, I really don't have a lot to say when it comes to the shorts and choose your own endings. I think it's better if I just have them be uploaded so that you can actually figure out what I actually feel about each short specifically. Granted it is honestly difficult, granted it is honestly awkward to actually me talk about each short when it's literally just a simple short with nothing else. I mean, when it comes to the schedules that I made last year when I was reviewing season 2 shorts, there was really no point into adding them into my schedule because they were so easy to make. So. I'm just going to say right now that you're just going to probably have to wait until I upload these reviews for the for the month of August. Because at this point, there's really no point into discussing the hype between each short and what it's, what it's really about. I mean, literally the only times I actually mentioned if I'm going to do a review of a Crusader Girl shorts was last year when I did some of the first Summer Palooza when I reviewed the Crusader Girls Beach shorts. So I completely combine them in one video. So I'm just going to point this out right now that the top four Classic Girls music videos in season one, I am aware that I completely said that I'm going to rank the top five Classic Girls songs from one from from least to best. But the more I think about the the My Little Shop of Horrors is mostly a short, but it's also a music video, which really confuses me. I have mixed opinions if I want to review the short or put this in the top five best music videos in season one. But I decided to do a review of it because, for in all honesty, I really think that me discussing on what the what the short is like and compared to other shorts I've seen from season one. I think reviewing it is probably the best choice. And as for you, and as for choosing your own endings, just like the season two reviews, I am going to talk about all the endings. So don't worry, it's gonna be like the first season. So I am going, it's gonna be like the second season. So I'm gonna be reviewing all the endings of what I think is the better ending of the bunch. Anyway, as for the analysis video, it's gonna be 30 minutes long, and I'm just gonna let you know right now. Even if that video was made last month when I was making these videos for my August schedule, I really think that 
even though it may be a bit too late to upload the video at the end of August, it's still literally all I have because as of now, I'm completely speechless on the crusty guard since as of now, well by the time of this recording, nothing is going on between Hasbro doing something with the Questy Guards. And it's and it's really saying a lot because it's been literally longer than anyone expected since that DHS is no longer doing any of the content since that the contract with Hasbro is completely expired. That's really something I can actually address when it comes to the analysis video alone, but when that video is uploaded, you might figure out something that might work for the future. So, anyway, as for fanfic readings, there are only two. Yes, two videos. I was going to do some changes when it comes to the Respectfulness is Friendship fanfic along with the chapter, well, along with the fanfic that I did last year, but the fanfic while who is doing Twins of the Beach is still having a struggle time into getting it finished. And I really do not want to struggle into making a video weeks before the upload time. I know I was way too early and stuff like that, but the thing is, I really cannot stand doing videos a month older. I mean, it was a thing when I was getting used to making schedules and Picking the white, picking the bales I want to make for each month, but that was last year, and since that this year, a lot can happen. All I can say is that respectful is friendship is the alternative ending of forgotten friendship. While Sunset Shimmer has lost her mind, has lost her memories of her of her best friends, and her best friends decide to take her to the beach. Yeah, I was planning to actually upload a be something beach related since that I've already reviewed the beach shorts last year, but this is really the closest. I'm just letting you know right now that the Twins of the Beach second chapter is where the Twilights actually go to the beach, but since I won't happen, since I won't be able to make that video on time, I decided to do this idea. I wrote this fanfic at the end of 2018, so. You should probably expect that there's going to be a lot of errors in this, and I really have a struggle into making these stories a little bit entertaining, despite the directions that I had in the past. Now, oh boy. Believe me, if you thought my top the top 10 most outdated available videos was long, and it was so unedited, because I didn't edit out the settling, well, just to let you know, I'm gonna prove you wrong, because The Magic of Mermaids, which is a flush eye special fanfic, is an hour and 30 minutes long, and I am not making this up. I came up with this idea by having Flush I have her own special, since that she's the only character that didn't get a special of her own, since that the other characters did. And believe me when I say this, I want to make this fanfic feel like an Aquas Your Girl special. Now before you comment down below on the fact that this video is going to be my longest video yet by the time it's uploaded, the, I'm still doing the chapter timestamps. This, cha this story has six chapters, and all the timestamps, the chapter timestamps are in the description box along with the chapter title, so don't worry, you're gonna be fine. Granted, I do not have a problem taking your time watching this video since it's gonna be in an hour and 30 minutes. I only wanted to do this, do this video to actually give Blush Eye some kind of attention since that she didn't got a special of her own. And since that I was about to do a different fanfic which involves two rainbow dashes, I guess that doing this fanfic is probably the best idea, and I really cannot wait when it's uploaded because as much as how long the video is going to be, it will be worth the entertainment, despite my fanfic reading stuff. So that's really all the videos I have for Across the Ghost Month, which is in August 2020. Granted, you probably want me to review the... Rainbow Rocks, Friendship Games, and Summertime Shorts, but at the same time, they're not really review material since that they're representing the movies, and Summertime Shorts is just to give Across Your Girls some kind of attention during the summer of three years ago. 
I, I literally did what I could for this month, and hopefully when this month is over, we can get back to our original schedule. Despite the fact that this Halloween is something I'm going to be doing in November, and the, my Christmas schedule, which is in December. So I really hope that you look forward to all these videos. They're going to be up once per day, but I'm still going to do reaction videos and maybe some update videos. I'm Lonely Fanboy Boy here. And I'll see you in the quest of your girls month while uploading the first, first video and that's respectfulness is friendship.